Tonight is our 100th episode, so it is a special occasion, uh, but it's special for quite a few reasons. We haven't had many people in the studio this season. I'm happy to say that my friend Tom Gleeson is here for the first time this season and the last time ever on the weekly, Tom. Yes, I'm in the studio and I've quit. Exciting, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> now, the first thing people are going to say is that this is just a joke that you famously axed your own show, Hard Quiz, only to use that to drum up support for your gold Logie win. Can we trust you, Tom? Oh, yeah, it's true. I've definitely quit, because I, I ran out of people to hard chat on this show. There's no one left. <laughs> uh, hard chat will go down as one of the great segments. Will, will, will you miss doing it? Well, I will, because hard chat's been very influential. I mean, we all know about Sophie Monk. You were discovered through one of the very first reality shows, Pop Stars. Yes. Do you wish that you waited until a reality show came up that people actually remember? Yeah, I guess I wish I was in one now, a cooler one. What one would you prefer? Bachelorette. I'm very single. Do they have celebrity bachelorettes? No, they don't. But I could be the first. And then she got the bachelorette. She did. Yeah, without me, Channel 10 would be nothing. I mean, after that, I thought, Let's just see how powerful this segment Hard Chat is. So I went and got Grant Denia the gold. How good would it be if you'd won? Oh, could you imagine? Let's get it to win. I'm going to campaign to get you to win. Are you serious? Yeah, I want to campaign to get you to win the gold Logie. How good would that... Oh, you watch this. Vote Denia for gold. Let's get his Axe TV show a gold Logie. Vote now. That's you perfect. get behind my show. I will get you the gold Logie. Because the Logies are an absolute joke. How good would it be if you won the gold <laughs> finally for a show that wasn't on air? It's perfect. <laughs> Take that, Channel 10. <laughs> and that's, that's in the history. Wikipedia. Tom Gleeson, where are you? Yeah, you're all right. Sometimes if you need to get some things done in this country, you need a angry redhead and Pauline Hanson wasn't available, so I had you, mate. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was the <laughs> first of two gold logies I won, Charlie. <laughs> and then look what I did to Carl. Work with Richard Wilkins every day. Mm. If Richard Wilkins stood still for long enough, would Channel 9 just build around him? Yes. <laughs> He's got a very big head too, I find. Like, sometimes I've looked at him and, like, his head has so much mass, light cannot escape it. <laughs> he has a large head. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does. Is this something that goes undiscussed on the Today Show? It's, it's just a big head. <laughs> I mean, after that, Richard Wilkins got the coronavirus and then Carl got sacked. Yeah, and, and a lot of people say that that was the exact moment that Carl went off the rails. Yeah, well, I felt so bad, I went into the Today Show and tried to get his gig back. I'm imagining that you're going to turn the tables on us, are you? Don't invite it. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know why you got me on here. It's live TV and I can say whatever I want. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I haven't been paid for this, so I thought, you know, you can't fire me. This is true. So, yeah. Where's Carl, actually? Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's what I want to talk about. Where's Carl? Hang on, where is he? Where's <laughs> Carl? I only came here because I heard Carl was... What have you done with Carl, Georgie? Is he back here? <laughs> Carl! <laughs> You can come out of retirement now. You've spent enough time on the bench. <laughs> and they say the Aussie larrikin's dead, Tom. That's right. <laughs> and, I mean, the segment by this stage was going so well, Charlie. Then all the musicians started to turn up. We had all the big stars. We had Jessica Malboy. In your first hit single, Burn, mm -hmm. you sing, Look what you did to me. I need a doctor because this is starting to burn. Is that your only song about chlamydia or do you have others? <laughs> The Veronicas, James Blunt, Human Nature, Paul Kelly, Barnsey. <laughs> <laughs> and after they came on Hot Chat, they all had hit records <laughs> during the segment. But who could forget the politicians, Charlie? There was Bill Shorten. Thank you very much for doing this interview, by the way. Well, it uh, could turn out to be a big mistake. It could sink your election hopes. Yeah. So thanks for being brave enough to turn up. You're welcome. You helped drag down Kevin Rudd and then you helped drag down Julie Gillard. Are you sure that you can have your own full support? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the late parties learned its lessons. They were terrible times. And it did sink his election hopes, didn't it, Charlie? <laughs> it did. <laughs> what about what I did to Rudd? I'm joined by former Prime Minister and soon to be UN Secretary General, maybe Kevin Rudd. I just wanted to see what megalomania looked like up close. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his gig at the. United Nations! Couldn't get it in the end. What about, what about the Treasurer? Is one of your favourite parts of being in the Liberal Party helping the big man stick it to the little man? No, uh, my... You know, like in-your-face pensioners. <laughs> Hang on, we've just given a $30 
a fortnight increase. You know, it's nothing. Suck shit. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Thirty bucks. Two dollars more than was being given. And after that, he drove Australia into a recession. <laughs> but what about the Labor leader? You've got an inner city electorate. Uh, did you smoke weed at high school? <laughs> this is your chance to win over I, a few, you know, I'm not, your people. I'm not going to answer any of that. What about I was a meth? Meth, did you smoke meth? Yeah, I didn't even know meth existed until recently. He's not going to win the next election after that. <laughs> so I have to say, on my last episode of The Weekly, Charlie, I am so proud that over our entire time here, I've used the ABC to keep the coalition in power for the entire <laughs> time that we've been on air. So, Scott Morrison, if you're watching, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom Gleeson, I'm, I'm very sad to see you go, but I have to say what a joy it has been. For 100 episodes, for six years, making this show with you, it's been, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you.